So, first week, first week of the couch to 5k, and I've gone and bloody injured myself already, for sake. Right, okay then, so the day has finally arrived. It is July the 1st, 2019, and I'm about to go out for my very first run. This will probably be the first run I've done in about 10 years. This is the first of the workouts for the uh, Couch to 5K app, a nine week program, basically getting you from doing nothing to running 5K. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm anxious. I'm really anxious to see how I do. I'm not completely out of shape. I have been working out. For those of you who haven't watched any of my stuff before, uh, last month I did a challenge where I worked out every single day for 28 days. Body weight workout uh, using an app called the Home Workout app. If you're interested, make sure you go and check that out. But even though I've been working out kind of on and off over the years, I haven't done any running in a long, long time. So I'm really, really curious as to how this is going to go. Because this is the first run, I'm not going to take the camera out with me. I guess I just want to be able to lose myself in it i want to feel how i'm feeling without worrying about entertaining so to speak i don't want to have to talk to a camera or worry about where i'm pointing it or what i'm doing i want to solely envelop myself in the experience which just sounds oh god what a twat but for the time being i'm really anxious to get out there now and see what i can do so i will leave it there and i will be back with you after the run well jog hey so that was the first one done. Um, I really enjoyed that. I did much, well, I did way, way better than I thought I was gonna do. In fact, none of the running was an issue at all. Um, one problem I did have, the app stopped working. I'm guessing because I'm running out on the hills, I don't know if it was because I was in a low signal area or something like that. It was working up until like the fourth repetition. And then I was doing my 60 second run and I kind of thought, hang on, this, this seems to have, been going on for quite a while. Sure enough, I opened up the phone and the app had shut down. Luckily, I had an interval timer already installed on the phone, so I knew what set I was at and I was able to uh, quickly um, get that going and carry on doing it. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was really good. At the beginning, there was a five minute warm up, and I was really anxious. I couldn't wait to get started. I was really looking forward to that countdown. And when it came to the first 60 second run, I actually did a really decent pace. I thought I'd be ambling along. It was a it was a it was a decent jog for sure. But yeah, I was doing the first 60 seconds and I thought maybe I'd done about 20 seconds and um I'd done the full minute already. I'm definitely starting to feel some soreness. My legs are uh, starting to get a bit sore. My crotchal region and uh, my lower back have got a little, you know, it, 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 I guess it's just these muscles that haven't been used in a very long time. I'm very interested to see how I feel tomorrow. My plan is at the moment, today's Monday, by the way, July the 1st, I think I've already said that, but my plan is to go out again on Wednesday. Each week I'm gonna do Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. That's what I wanna do, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, if I need an extra day to recover, because it's the first week, maybe I'll do Thursday. But I'm gonna stick to the app, I'm gonna stick to the training program, because the whole idea is I don't wanna overdo it, I don't wanna get injured. I really wanna build up and be able to, I want a strong foundation to carry on running in the future. That's what all this is about. It's not just about the 5K, it's about building up that base, that foundation, to be able to do this uh, long term. Next time I go out, I'm gonna take the GoPro with me and uh, get some footage when I'm out there. But yeah, awesome, really happy. First one done, first of many, and uh, that could not have gone better, awesome. Hello, so it is day two. Well, it's actually day three, but it's my run number two. That sounded wrong. It is an absolutely glorious day. Um, I have to confess, I've been absolutely dying to get out and uh, go running again. I was expecting to have some particular soreness from the uh, first run. Um, I was a bit sore yesterday, but uh, it's pretty much gone today. My cars feel a little tender still, but 
not too bad considering. I'm gonna take the camera with me this time, but don't be surprised if the audio is absolutely terrible. Maybe I'll put, play some music over it, I don't know, because uh, I don't wanna take too much equipment out with me. So I'm just gonna take my little gear preview. And uh, God's sake, Ben, just get out there and run. Believe it or not, I am actually starting this out now. Starts out with a five minute brisk stroll. I've decided rather than use the app, I actually found on iTunes that they've got the the entire program in podcast form. So that's what I'm listening to at the moment. They got some god awful music on this. Oh my god, it sucks. I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with this. First one done, and uh, fine. I mentioned it before, this music is terrible. I need some Lamb of God or Napalm Death or something, not this weekend warrior, lightweight shit, terrible. That was fine, not bad. I am feeling the soreness in my legs already. Uh, the runs have been fine. Cardio wise, I feel quite good actually. My hearty heart, it keeps me alive. Not bad, feeling good. Music sucks. Interval three done. Shit music. Fourth interval done. Not feeling too bad. Legs are feeling heavy. Music sucks. Cardio's not too bad, even though I'm out of breath. Music still sucks. Motivation's pretty good. Though the music does suck and is draining said motivation. Okay, that sucked. There's a bit more of an uphill there, which I didn't factor in. But, I did it, five intervals down, feeling a lot worse than I did the first time I did it. This music has a lot to do with it. Sixth interval done, feeling quite good. Bit annoying having to film, I'll be honest. Music still sucks. Okay, so one more interval left. Legs are feeling a bit sore now. Uh, it's really annoying having to do the filming. Last one coming up, last of the shitty music. <laughs> That was tougher than the first one. Um, I think I expected better this time, maybe. I think the first run I did, I didn't know what to expect. So I actually did the run and I actually managed it fine. 
it was a real good feeling. This one, I think I came out expecting to, uh, well, don't get, don't get me wrong, the running itself was fine, but I definitely uh, did feel the soreness from the, uh, from the previous workout. I didn't think I felt that bad, but uh, as soon as I started running, I definitely felt my legs were a lot heavier than they were last time. I know I've joked a lot about the music, throughout this but genuinely it sucked up really put me off genuinely the music sucked it really did suck it still does suck it didn't just suck it still sucks the other thing it's genuinely being a bit of a pain in the ass after the film I don't know if I'm gonna do this every single time I kind of like the idea of documenting it though maybe I don't need to film every single interval like I did this time it was kind of a consideration having a camera on me rather than just focusing on the running, which I guess at this stage is what I should really be doing. I think there was a few moments where, I don't know, it could have been easier for me to fall over, I guess, not paying attention. But yeah, I did it. So that's the second one of the week done. Fine, I'm probably gonna leave it a couple of days before the next one now. Today's Wednesday, I might do the next one on Saturday. So that gives me two days to recoup. I'm just gonna do a bit of a walk now, just to wind down, do some proper stretching later on and I'm also going to do an ab workout tonight as well keep that core going I think it's more important now than ever to make sure that I'm getting all the other muscle groups exercised properly and keeping on top of things keeping strong okay that was the second one not bad I was quite happy with that definitely felt it were god I keep going I'm just repeating myself now okay so today is day three well it's actually Saturday but it's day three of my first week of doing the five to, uh, was it what is it couch that there's a 5k bit going on I'm trying to run now I've been chilling in all day watching season three of Stranger Things which I'm going to film a review for in just a moment maybe you should check that out yes it's uh now 6 p.m and I decided to come out for a run and it looks well it is raining at the moment it's not heavy rain by any stretch but it is raining but I am going to get my run done I have uh I've, I've kind of always liked the idea of going for a run in the rain actually seems quite nice hmm. I have decided that I'm not going to take the camera with me I was debating whether to do it anyway because I really didn't enjoy having a camera with me when I was running last time it distracted me from doing the run it took me away from the enjoyment and um, as it's raining now that's even more of an excuse not to do it so I'm going to go out for my last run for this week now and uh, I'll check in with you after go so I did my run oh man and as you can probably tell by my limping things didn't uh, go so well on this one uh, it's luckily stopped raining so uh, afterwards I went back to the car to grab my camera gear just to see if I can uh, have a little bit of a walk and just kind of ease the leg off so what happened well I was enjoying the run it was raining and I actually kind of enjoyed that it was kind of nice it was a new experience I've never done that before so it was actually kind of a <laughs> it was actually kind of a cool thing to be able to go out and do that I started my first interval first 60 second interval and uh, it was fine certainly cardio wise it was fine though I did immediately notice I was quite tense quite stiff in my back and legs I was a bit concerned about it but I got another second interval felt much better got into the third interval felt even better and uh, I thought okay I obviously just needed to warm up I got into my fourth interval and I was about 10 seconds away from finishing it and my calf just absolutely seized up uh, I've not had that happen before it really just it, it stiffened up immediately to the point where I had to pretty much just stop what I was doing there and then very disappointing I say stop I didn't actually stop I had my 90 seconds of walking and it kind of loosened up a bit felt a bit better I attempted doing the next 60 seconds and I barely got through 15 20 seconds of it so I went back to walking again but I did actually manage to get through the final three intervals and I ran the full 60 seconds of each three it wasn't like amazing running by any means but it was certainly enough to get my heart rate up and it did feel like I actually did a run though I am now concerned as to where this leaves me for next week luckily I don't have to do anything now till Monday it's Saturday evening today I've got uh, I had tomorrow planned as a rest day anyway oh that's just really that's just really pissed me off 
bit of a sad way to end the week. For anyone who's new to the channel, by the way, last month I did a 28 day challenge where I worked out every single day for 28 days. Not once did I get injured. Don't give it away, the idiots haven't seen it yet. 28 days working out every single day for 28 days with body weight. And they did it without any issue. Well, they're not gonna watch it now, are they? And uh, I went straight from that into this. So on Monday, I did a run. Tuesday, I had my first day off in a long time. Wednesday, I went out for a run and then I did an ab workout afterwards. Thursday evening, I did a uh, back and shoulders uh, body weight workout, which was fine. I had Friday off. I was gonna go out and run. I kind of wish I had done it in a way now, but I decided to take last night off. So I had a full day's rest yesterday, outside of work, of course. Not only that, I've not done very much today. I'm kind of wondering if that's the issue, actually. I haven't eaten a great deal today either, and I certainly not, um, in hindsight, I've not drunk anywhere near enough water today. I don't know if it's a dehydration thing, like a salt thing or something like that, maybe. So it caused me to cramp up, but like I said, I, I felt very stiff throughout the day. I've not felt that good. And don't get me wrong, when I was running, I did actually feel good. And cardio-wise, I didn't even uh, didn't even notice it. It's definitely definitely all in the muscles. Yeah, the legs. Oh God. Yeah, my legs and uh, oh, it's just my right calf. I mean, I'm bloody limping now. I'm really gutted. I'm really pissed off. It's not going to stop me. I'm going to keep on going. I said I'm going to do. I'll get up to 5k and I will. If anything, it just makes a rather nice story arc. Mm. Seriously, my leg feels fucked at the moment. I'm gonna do some stretching when I get home tonight. I'm gonna to get some decent food in me, stock up on some calories. Not that I need any help with that, I've been overeating this week for sure. Maybe I'm being a bit of an idiot doing these trail runs straight away. Maybe I should be concentrating on, maybe I should be concentrating on road running, maybe, I don't know, some flatter surfaces. But I kind of like being out here, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know if I'd be able to do this out in the streets. It'd bore the hell out of me. I've got all these hills available to me, so it'd be nice to use them. Oh God, bit of a pain this one. Re oh fuck, really shit way to end the video this week, but um, I will be back with you next week. I think I might as well do a video next week just to let you guys know exactly how I'm getting on with this training. So I'm sticking with it one way or the other, I've got to. I said I was gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. So I'll have to just uh, hope for the best everything heals up all right but i'm gonna limp back to the car and i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna chill out and get some editing done and feel like shit because i'm a bad injured boy mm -mm.